Okay, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka Kwadash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutation out there that push this world in truth. This is going to be a great millstone to the point. Abba Ratazayu Akim out there will be edified. So without further ado, you know how we get down. I'm going to get straight into these scriptures. This is Isaiah, the 29th chapter, the 6th verse. It says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord Yahweh of hosts with thunder and with earthquakes. And you see what's going on over in California. It was a major earthquake, 7.1. Then you have an earthquake over in Indonesia, as well as Iran. So these prophecies is starting to, you know, speed up. The major prophecy I want to come to pass, instituting that offer of the microchip. Abba Ratazai, it comes the end of this year. Abba Ratazai comes before the forecoming, man. Because all we need is for the economy to collapse, man. And then usher in this new system. Or all we need is for a false flag to commence. Because guess what? We're approaching the Bohemian Grove, the day of the Bohemian Grove, where they do their cremation of care ceremonies. So we're not ignorant of how these elites get down, man. They're going to over in Sonoma County, Florida, I mean, I mean Sonoma County, California, and butt fuck each other, get into coffins and do their rituals, and then the last ritual, they're gonna be there for 14 days, from July 14th to the 31st, and what's gonna happen, after all they do all their freakish rituals, they're gonna do the cremation of care, where they're gonna sacrifice a little kid, man. That's how Esau, the so-called white man, get down. But back to what's going on. Isaiah, the 29th chapter, the 6th verse. It says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of, of the Lord Yahweh of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise. Because them earthquakes produce a great noise. And like I said, there has been earthquakes over in the coast of California, in Iran, in Indonesia. You understand? These prophecies are coming to pass. So it says, um, it says, with storms and tempests. Hey man, I'm seeing in Texas, it was a hailstorm where winds is blowing at 105 miles per hour. And what was going, what was falling was golf size, golf ball size hell that was shattering car windows, windshields from cars, and, and shattering, um, and shattering, um, Windows from houses and homes and everything, man. We're in the midst of prophecy. And these prophecies are coming to pass. All these prophecies that has been spoken of in the days of old is starting to manifest themselves, man. So we know we're at the end of the age of Esau. We're at the end of the eon of Esau, man. The so-called white man. That red Edomite bastard is about to go down. You understand what I'm saying, man? It says, um, with storm and tempest and flames and the flames of devouring fire. And we see, when you turn in the news early in the morning or throughout the day, fires over here, fires over there. But also, I can't forget that how over in the Midwest, such as Nebraska, Tennessee, is all kind of flooding. Destroying crops, soybeans, cotton, corn. In Nebraska, Omaha, Nebraska, you have over a million cattle that have drowned due to the, due to the cause of flooding. Torrential rains, man. That's all prophecy. And it's prophesied in Isaiah, the 29th chapter, the 6th verse, and I'm reading it. Prophecies come in the past. That's right. It says, With storm and tempest and flame and the flame of devouring fire. Hey, I'm going to read it again from the top so it can sink in before I close it out. 
Thou shalt be visited of the Lord Yahweh of hosts with thunder and with earthquakes. We see what's going on in Indonesia, California, Iran. We see what's going on with the golf size, golf ball size hell that was that um was happening over in Texas. We see the flames of devouring fire with the brush fires in California, all kind of fires within the cities of New York. People being displaced, losing their homes, losing their apartments due to the fire, flames of devouring fire. All prophecy. But the major prophecies that has yet to come to pass is that Arthur D. Michael chip, man. And that's what I'm patiently waiting for. That's what I'm patiently waiting for. For them to make the Arthur D. Michael chip mandatory. Then we know that redemption draw from there because we know that Esau's kingdom is going to come to an abrupt end. Because that's one of the major prophecies that we're waiting for. Amen. So you see what's going on over in Indonesia. You see what's going on in Iran, over in California. You see what's going on in the Midwest with the floods. You see what's going on with these fires. We're at the end of the age of Esau. The eon of Esau is coming to an abrupt end. And with that, this has been a great millstone to the point. Abba Watazayu Akebati was edified. Once again, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak Radash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.